Hey, what's up, the YouTuber? It's me again. And yeah, today is actually going to be a very serious video today. Very serious video. Today, I'm going to let you guys know a little bit more about yours truly. Yes. The truth is about my life is that, well, I wasn't really born lucky, to tell you the truth. I was born in Bucharest, Romania back in 1994 as a little infant baby. I was born in a very poor family, to tell you the truth. You know, I was like surprised when I found out about that a long time ago, like back when probably when I was a teenager. It scares me to this day, kind of still. I don't know why. It really just does. I think about it. I'm like, wow, did that just happen? Because I and uh, I heard all I was fed was tea. I had no food when I was a little baby. I was born in the orphanage. And in the country, like there was, I, my mom told me that there was like dead bodies everywhere. And I was like, what? I didn't even know that. Like it was so poor that country back in the 1990s, I heard, like in 94. And I was like, wow, really, I was shocked. Dead bodies everywhere in that little orphanage, like that hospital where I was, like when I was born. I was like, wow, that's insane. And I heard the only power supply was this tiny little light bulb with light. And I was like, what? That is really morbid, you know? I didn't know that that was the way I lived as a little baby. And the reason why I rock back and forth every night when I'm sleeping. Because my mom told me I was born hungry. Now, I, like, when I say that, I mean, when I say born hungry, I mean that every single night I would be starving. I'd be starving every night when I was a little child. So I would be rocking back and forth just to make myself go to sleep. Because I used to go to bed hungry when I was a little infant. I was like, wow, that's just depressing. Really, it's, it is, and it scares me, kind of, like, I can't believe that was my life before, like, this. Yes, guys, I am adopted. I'm adopted by two of the best people in the world, my mother and my father. And I'm very lucky to be able to be living this life I'm living right now. Like, if I wasn't adopted and I didn't come to the United States and I didn't become an American citizen, I would never be living such a great life. And I owe it to them. I really do. I owe it to my, my mother and father. If they never adopted me from Romania and they never made me an American citizen if I wasn't adopted, I would have never been having such a great life. I'm so grateful that they adopted me from Romania and made me an official American citizen. I really appreciate that. Every day of my life, I really appreciate life. I really do. I appreciate life every single day by knowing that there's people out there who actually give a damn about my life, who actually give a shit about who I am. I'm very grateful. And I couldn't ask for anything else. Couldn't ask for anything better. And I gotta thank all my friends. My friends are the reason why I love living. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be having such a good life. Love every one of you. I really do. I love every single one of you guys. Thank you so much. 
I love every single one of you. I love you so much. Joe, Ray, Lawrence, Elijah, Matt, Kessler, and so on and so on. You guys make my life so much better. Sorry, I almost forgot about one of my friends there. <laughs> uh, I really, I really love you guys. Ray and Lawrence, I'm so happy I got to meet you guys. Just getting to know you makes my life a lot better. I love you guys. I really do. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Keep doing what you guys are doing. You're doing awesome. Caesar, I never forgot you, my friend. I will never forget you, my friend, Caesar. Ray Lawrence, thank you for introducing me to him. He's such a nice guy. Keep being friends with him forever. He's a very nice kid. He really is. Just like you two. You two have a heart of gold. And so, so does he. I really do appreciate it. I really do. I love you guys. Joe. Joe is my most closest friend in my entire life. He really is. I know him ever since the, the fourth grade, back in our old middle school. I was a little kid, back in fourth grade. I'm so happy I have him in my life. I really do. And sometimes I, do, I feel like I need to give. I want to give to people. I feel like I live such a great life. I really do. Every day of my life, I love it. If it wasn't for me being adopted from Romania, I would have never, never, ever, ever, ever lived been living such a great life. I'm very lucky. Where would I be living? I'll find me on these streets of Romania. Sorry. Sorry, guys, I'm asleep. <laughs> Why be in the streets of Romania? Picking, like, garbage or stuff. Well, I'd be so poor. What would I do? You know? You know, and I'm so grateful for just having a hundred subscribers on my channel. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. Thank you. It's you guys is the reason why I'm doing these videos. <laughs> You're the reason why. It doesn't matter if I only have a hundred subscribers. It doesn't matter if I even have a hundred, or thousand, or just ten thousand. I do it for you. This video goes out to all my friends. I'm very lucky that I even have friends, you know? A kid like me very glad to even have friends. I love all my friends. I even made a brand new friend this year. Gabriel Rodriguez from Brazil. He says he's a huge fan of my videos, guys. I finally get to meet one of my fans who actually love my videos. So to you, dude, hail to my friend, Gabriel Rodriguez. You're awesome. Even my friend Gabriel from school. He became one of my new friends, actually, from last year, actually. He's such a nice kid. Both me and him love metal, and yeah. And I am extremely grateful for my friend, Elijah. Elijah, if you're watching this video, man, thank you. 
you know, my friend Elijah doesn't have that much, you know? He really doesn't. That, that's the truth, guys. He really doesn't have that much. And I'm here to make his life a lot better. I'm not doing it just to say, yeah, I'm doing it because I give a shit. Because I care. I care about my friend Elijah. He's, he doesn't have that much, you know, guys? And for a kid like him to not have such a happy life sometimes because because sometimes he doesn't have the money or he can't afford something doesn't mean he can't be happy, you know? I'm so happy that I can make his life happy. I want to. I want to make his life happy. I want to make sure that he's living life happily. It's because I care. I really do. Because I care. He's one of my most closest friends. I'm so glad I got him to be a part of Bronies NYC. I really am glad I got him to be a part of Bronies NYC. And back in 2015, I made two other great guys called Ray and Lawrence. I wrote a comment on their video saying I can't wait to see you guys at PonyCon 2015. They responded. And I'm so grateful. And they became one of my most closest friends. This is what life does, man. This is what life does. It gives you happiness. And I'm so glad that I got to become friends with them. Both Ray and Lawrence. And then I got introduced to the other friend, Caesar. <sighs> I got introduced to the other friend, Caesar, who's such a nice guy. And you know? And also, I heard something happen with him, actually. Which I'm not going to say, but... Something did happen with him once, and then I offered him, saying, Hey, dude, would you like my Nintendo 3DS? And he said, Oh, that's very nice of you, but no thanks, because he doesn't have any games for it, because something happened. And I, I wanted to give him my 3DS to show how much I give a shit about his life, to know how much I care about him. And Wayne Lawrence says, you, you two have been, like, the, like, one of the best things that ever happened to me. You guys mean so much. You really do. You guys mean so much to me. You really do. Ray, Lawrence, Caesar. You guys mean so much to me. You really do. I love you guys. I love you. I really love you from the bottom of my heart. I love you. I really do. I always will love you. You guys are the best. Every one of my friends. Ray. Lawrence. Joe. Elijah. Gabriel. Both Gabriels. Kessler. Matthew. And... And all of you guys who are watching this video. I love all of you guys. And also, I made some new other friends, too, from last year. I interviewed the band Party Cannon, as you guys know. I became such good friends with them. Chris and Mike. They're such nice people. I'm so grateful that I got to meet, get to talk to them. And I got them to become my friends, you know? As a kid who was adopted by Romania, sometimes I say, Was, was I really lucky? Was I really lucky to actually have a good life? Why am I so lucky? Am I so lucky to have such a great life? And then all those people out there who don't, you know? There's so many people out there that don't have a good life sometimes. They're not lucky, but they're doing the best they can. But why am I the lucky one, you know? I feel ashamed about that sometimes. Why am I the lucky one in there? They're living such a hard life, you know? That's why I want to give to people. I really do. I want to give to people. I feel like I don't deserve that much stuff as I really do. The reason why I have all of this is because I'm a lucky kid. I'm lucky to even have such a great life. I'm lucky to be here right now in front of you guys. 
saying I love you. I'm thanking you for everything. Yeah, and by the way, just like I said before, I finally hit 100 subscribers. So for everyone who's watching this, thank you. Thank you so much. You know, just thank you. I really appreciate it. You know, I really appreciate it. I love doing things for friends, you know? Like, I really do. If I never had friends and I never had this life, I would be depressed every single day. You know? I'd be like, what's worth it? You know, what's worth it? What's worth, it? you know, it? When I say it, I mean life. What's worth life then? If I don't have any friends or anyone who cared about me. You know? I've been through a lot of shit. And I don't want to go into detail about that. At all. Never. But, you know, I've been through a lot of crazy shit in my life. And in the end, all I can say is that I'm very lucky. Because of you guys. This video is for everyone, not just everyone. This video especially goes out to every single one of my friends. This video is for my friends. This video making is because of you guys, my friends, and also my viewers as well. I'm glad there's actually people out there who actually give a shit about my videos, you know? I know in the brony community there's people who are famous because they do reviews on the show they do topics about the show they have fancy editing equipment they have the money to do all this but you know i think the reason why they are so lucky and famous is because they work hard and i work hard too but you know it doesn't matter that i'm not famous in the community. I don't give a shit if I'm not famous in the community that no one cares about my videos and nobody cares about who I am. I know that there's people out there who actually do care. That little light at the end of my tunnel, the tunnel is my heart, and that gleaming light it's you guys, my friends. My friends mean so much to me. They mean so much to my heart. They really do. guys really do. I know I might be repeating myself over and over again, but this video is for you guys, my friends, and also my viewers. Thank you all for 100 subscribers. Thank you. I'm so happy to know that I finally hit 100. To know that there's people out there who actually care about my life. You know? And uh, each and every day of my life, I think about all of you guys. Joe, Elijah, Ray, Lawrence, Chris, Mike, Gable, to both Gables. Thank you. Matt, Elijah. Oh, I already said Elijah, sorry. <laughs> Matt. Kessler, thank you. Because if it wasn't for my friends, I would have never had a fantastic high school experience. What I mean by that is that high school was great for me because my friends made it great for me. That's why. My friends made high school great for me. And I gotta say, 
I'm very grateful to be living in the United States of America, to be having what they call a life, you know, a life. I'm grateful because of you guys. I really am. So glad I got to meet Joe back in fourth grade. Ever since fourth grade, me and him have like hit it off so strongly. I've been friends with him ever since 2004. And now it's 2017. Do you even know how many years that is? That's a long time. Yeah, that's why he's my most closest friend. And second, Elijah. I've been friends with him ever since, like, early 2000, I think, 9. And then we graduated back in 2000, I think, 2012. Wow. That's been a long time. And every moment with all my friends means so much. That's why I get so disappointed when my friends have to leave. Because I'm like, I had such a fun time. What am I going to do now? I know they have to go home because they have to continue on, but I feel like it goes by so fast. I don't want the fun to ever end. Because, you know, by myself, I don't know what to do. You know, I get lonely. I don't have any brothers or sisters. I get to spend time with my mom and dad. Me and my mom watch old classic 90s movies and 60s and 70s and 80s movies together. Me and my dad watch the show called The Blacklist. I'm so happy to actually be able to do that. I always love to have something to look forward to. I really do. <laughs> That's what makes me smile. Because <laughs> of you guys. I love every single one of you. The reason why I was... A little bit tearing up back then is because I'm saying this from my heart. And for you guys who are watching this video, I want you guys to get to know me a little more. You know, because I feel like I'm getting closer to knowing who you are as the viewers and the people who are watching my videos as well. Really. I'm so happy I got to meet also Ray and Lawrence. Ray, the moment I met you and you, Lawrence, the moment I got to meet you guys in person for the first time at BronyCon, no, sorry, PonyCon 2015 back in my school, I knew we were going to hit it off good. I knew me and you guys would be great friends for years to come. I knew at the spot I said, these guys are going to become some of the best friends I've ever had in my life. And look where our friendship grew. It's been two years now. 2015 and 2016. Now we're hitting 2017. I've been friends with them now for two years. And our friendship will grow on till the end. I'm very grateful. Even by getting to know your friend Caesar. He's such a nice guy too. I'm very glad I got to meet him, too. I knew I was going to hit it off as well, knowing that I was going to become his good friend, too. So, yeah. I'm very grateful. That's all I want to say. I'm just very grateful for life. And when I buy something for somebody, or say something to somebody, or just doing something kind from the bottom of my heart, that's all I want. Just to be kind to someone. Nobody has to give back to me. Nobody has to say, hey, Stefan, have this. No, you can have it. I don't want it. All I want is your love. To know that you care about my life and that you care about me. That's all I want. All I want is love. That's all I want. All I want is love. I don't need any, like, possessions from you guys to show me how much that you care about me all I want is your time and to be with you and to know that you care that's all I need that's all I really need that's all love friendship and caring that's all I want from all of you guys 
love, friendship, and caring. That's 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 who I am. That's all I really want from you guys. It's just that. You don't need to give me anything special. All you need to give me is just your time. That's it. That's all I want. It's just your time. Every second counts. It does. Every second counts. That's why in the end I get so sad when you guys have to leave. Because I'm having such a great time. And then I'm like, what am I going to do? Not just that. Also, I want to talk about my passion for metal music. I know that there's people out there who are against metal. And people who don't like metal music because they think it's, you know, violent and all that. Etc, etc, you know the rest. But the reason why I love metal music with a burning passion in my heart is because it gets me through very rough times. It really does. It gets me through a lot of rough times. Like when my aunt died and my uncle died and my grandfather died. I was really feeling just awful. But you know who made it better? You guys, you guys made it better for me. My friends, you guys made it better for me to know that I can keep on living through life knowing that I know what happened. I know what happened, but there's always something that's better, you know? When I say better, I mean you gotta move on. You know life is gonna get better. I know that that happened, but in the end, it's going to get better. I can tell you that. And also a lot of metal music. Metal music, like what I was talking about a few seconds ago, it got me through all that. It gets me through stress. It gets me through life. It gets me through everything. I can give two shits about the violence, lyrics, and metal. I can, I can, I don't give a shit if it has violent lyrics. The reason why it's so violent is because just like metal bands say, we're making something negative into something positive. What I mean by that is that metal makes you feel warm inside your heart to know that when there's a lot of crazy shit going on in your life it will always be there for you that's the truth about metal that is the 100 percent true and fact that all of us metalheads say metal gets you through all a lot of the hard times in life and not just that it also entertains me you know I love the loud distorted guitars I love the heavy breakdowns I love the sound of music it makes me feel powerful that against all the pain and stress that I go through it's always there metal music and especially not just metal music not just metal music but you guys my friends the two biggest things in my entire life, the two hugest things that get me through my life to make me keep on living each day with a big smile and a happy laugh. Being who you know as Stefan Goldberg. It's because of two most valuable things. The things I will always value until my death.
and those two huge, gigantic things are metal music and my friends. Thank you. I want to make this video to express my love. That's all I wanted, wanted to do, to show you guys my love. To show you all my love. If you guys are watching this right now, before I end the video off right here, all I want to say is these two words. Actually, no, 30 words. Three words of kindness to show you how much I actually care about your life and about everything you do. Everything you do. For caring about my dreams and what I want to do for the future. And for me to care about what you guys want to do in the future and everything you're doing. In your life every day. The three words I want to say is this before I end the video. Just all I want to say is I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. So thank you for watching this video, everyone. Just wanted to let you guys know a little more about me. To know a little more information about me. So that you guys can be like, oh, let's get to know Stefan a lot more. So yeah. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I appreciate it. I love you guys. I love all of you. So overall, guys, keep it metal, keep it brutal, keep it awesome. Hope to see you guys on my next video. And have a great, fantastic rest of your day. And remember, guys, always keep it metal. So yeah, goodbye. I'll see you guys all soon in my next video very soon. So goodbye. Love you.